before the video starts, if you are tired of grinding badges, make sure you hit up my boy Sports TMB. The link to his Twitter will be in the description. Tell him that I sent you and he will hook you up. You'll get your badges in a few days and you'll be good to go. Also, if you're looking to sell your account or buy a new account, he does account selling as well. So make sure you hit him up, tell him that I sent you, and he'll take care of you. NBA 2K18. <laughs> What did they do with the shooting this year, man? There's so many things that are just, let's go with frustrating at the most, but I got five reasons why your shot is white. People always ask me, cause ever since I made my stretch big, I've been cashing out, shooting really well. People always ask me, you know, tips on shooting. So I got five reasons here why you're getting white. Now, just for a little context, I'm not saying I'm the best shooter ever, but when I was going real sweaty on my shooting, I was shooting over 76% from three at the start of the year. And why did that go down? Well, I started shooting full court shots every game, as you see here. And we actually hit some, but obviously that's killing my fucking three point percentage. But anyways, on to reason number one, 2K18 shooting mechanics. To fully understand this, let's just go back one year. Let's go back to 2K17 and think about 2K17. If you were a sharpshooter, because in 2K17, it was just single archetypes. There's no pure or, you know, playmaking sharp or anything. If you were a sharpshooter in 2K17 and you created enough room to get a clean shot off and you released it at the right time, it was going to go green. No matter, you know, no matter, no matter what, it was going to go green 80, 90% of the time. 2K17, you could shoot big greens no matter what. If you had a good release and you were open you were going to hit greens 2k18 the shooting mechanics are completely different let's look at it so basically i'll try to summarize this as quickly and as simple as possible there's a peak window to release your jump shot at that will give you the highest chance of getting a green even if you release your jump shot in 2k18 at the perfect point at the best release point you're not guaranteed to get a green there's only a certain percent that you'll get and we'll get into that later on in the video now you could release it not in the peak window, just outside of the peak window and still get greens, but obviously the farther and farther away from the peak window you get, the more whites you're going to get. But in 2K18 shooting mechanics, even at the peak release, you're gonna get a lot of whites. It's just how the shooting is. Number two, patch five. I mentioned this in my last video. Why do I talk about patch five? After patch five, NBA 2K18, whoever, I don't know who the hell thought of this, but they decided that a lot of people were complaining that slightly early shots went in more often than good shots. So what did they do? Did they just fix the balance of it? No, no, no. Their idea was even if somebody releases the shot good, we'll just make it say slightly early sometimes just to, just to make them miss more slightly early shots. Like, I, the reasoning and the logic behind it, it almost doesn't even make sense to me. But it was reported and it is true. After patch five, they changed it. Even if you're releasing your jump shot at the perfect time, sometimes the feedback is going to say slightly early. Just the way 2K18 is. Unbelievable. Number three, the base. <laughs> the base of your jump shot. I see people using all these stupid ass bases. Like there's about like three or four bases on the park or in Pro-Am that you should use. Outside of that, you should not be using any other bases. Why? Even if the base has a good green percentage, if the base is really, really slow, you're not gonna be able to get the shot off or you're not gonna be able to get a clean look off. That's gonna give you more whites because you're gonna be shooting contested. Also, if you're using a base that even if it's fast, if it doesn't have a high green percentage, then you're gonna get more whites. Like no matter how good you release it, if the jump shot base you're using is not a good base, you're going to get a lot of whites. So how do you know, how do you know what bases are good? Well, I mean, there's a ton of jump shot videos out there that YouTubers make. Uh, a lot of them are bullshit. Mine are always statistically backed up. So how do you find out these statistics? Well, I'm gonna let you know on a secret. There's websites out there that you could pay for and there's multiple, you know, I'm not gonna name any cause I'm not promoting any, but there's multiple websites out there. If you pay a monthly membership, you can look at the jump shot charts and whatnot. If you're really interested, I have access to everything out there. Or if you're just good on Google, you can look it up. But if you want to know good jump shots, just go on Instagram, follow me, DM me. I go through my DMs pretty often and I'll let you know what good bases are out there. Number four, badge utilization. In 2K18 or any 2K, any NBA 2K, um, badges are very important. 
I know obviously you guys know that. This is not telling you anything you don't know. But what I see from people out there is they don't utilize their badges to the fullest. For example, on my stretch, I have catch and shoot. I have corner specialist. I have pick and popper. If I can activate all three of those badges in one play, my, my chance of shooting a green goes up. My chance of shooting a white goes down. I see people who have difficult shots hall of fame and they shoot standing shots. You should be shooting off dribble shots as much as possible if you have difficult shots. So on and so forth, we could keep going, but you understand my point. Use your badges to your advantage. Number five, shot IQ. I see people out there shooting dumbass shots, contested, heavily contested. Listen, I shoot heavily contested because I do it for the entertainment factor, the videos, to get the clips, all that shit. If you're going for clips, do your thing. If you're looking to shoot as many greens as possible, stop shooting dumb shots. People shoot highly, heavily contested. People shoot way deep, like limitless range shots. If you're a pure sharp with Hall of Fame limitless, cool. If you're not, why the hell are you shooting 18 feet behind a three point line? Things like that, man. Just your shot IQ. Obviously the better, smarter shots you take, the more greens you will get.